Traditional Chinese medicine, or TCM, is a mystery to most people outside of the country. However, the methods and doctrines of TCM have started to attract interest from people around the world. 26-year-old Ethiopian Demison Hayes is studying at the Tianjin University of Traditional Chinese Medicine in North China's Tianjin Municipality. Hayes studied modern medicine for four years in his home country before coming to China. He said his interest in TCM was piqued when he saw that many Ethiopians were going to a local TCM clinic to be treated. And then I came here, China, to study acupuncture, moxibustion, and the tuna. So this is uh, what I'm doing now. So I'm really much interested to study uh, Chinese medicine other than Western medicine because I have many experience. Like I've seen many patients those can't able to cure by Western medicine. It was cured by uh, Chinese medicine. The Chinese traditional medicine has developed over thousands of years and includes the use of herbs, acupuncture, and a massage. The TCM practitioners diagnose their clients by taking their pulse, inspecting their tongue, skin, and eyes, and inquiring about their eating and sleeping habits. So after I finish my study, I want to go back to my country, and then I want to help the patients, I want to help the people who in need of this uh, treatment. As I told you, in my country, it's like no many, many clinics, but it still have one or two clinics, Chinese clinic. So that I will go and then I will uh, make it like for the patient, I will start to work in the government hospital and continue to help the patient. Hayes has been studying the Chinese traditional medicine for two years and is capable of treating some patients under the guidance of his teacher Guo Yi, a professor from the university's acupuncture and moxibustion department. Guo has taught many foreign students about acupuncture and cupping, a method of treatment that involves placing cups on a patient's back and using heat or suction to create partial vacuums on the skin surface. Not all people are fit for cupping. Those who have weak bodies shouldn't try it. If they do, they will not feel well and will need to use other treatments to recover. Practitioners believe cupping can improve one's circulation and remove harmful elements from the body. There are many kinds of cupping methods, such as flash cupping, moving cupping, pull cupping, and so on. Practitioners use oil to coat a patient's back and move cups over the surface of the skin to treat disease. Malaysian woman Summer Ching has been sitting under Guo for three years. She previously spent five years in her home country studying TCM. She said cupping is one of her preferred treatment methods, adding that she hopes to treat poor people living in underdeveloped areas after graduating. I went to Kenya with my teacher last year, and we treated some people with cupping, acupuncture, and it's quite a nice experience. So I really want to go to some poor countries to help them by using Chinese medicine. Yi Hei said he will study in China for three more years. After graduating, he hopes to return to Ethiopia to become a doctor and provide expertise to his peers. So I'm really happy like to proceed on this uh, as a Chinese medicine doctor, of course together with uh, Western medicine because I already studied Western medicine before. Guo said acupuncture is being used in over 160 countries around the world. There are about 1,000 students from all over the world studying in our university. They come from European countries, African countries, Japan and Korea. They want to come and learn so that they can offer services in their home countries after graduating. The Chinese traditional medicine, which encompasses many different styles of practice, is rooted in the ancient philosophy of Taoism. It's practiced along with modern medicine in most Chinese hospitals and clinics.